All right. Well, here we are once again. This is Tim, and he's going to share a little bit with us today about what Jesus has done for him. So, Tim, give oh. us a give us a God shot. Get, zap, zap us <laughs> with some joy of the Lord. We need we all need some joy and some strength, Tim. Do you Hallelujah. Got any? Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, God just um. There was a time after after my father passed away. I just I didn't real. I thought it's like how could a how, my father passed away at 15. How could a good and loving God let my father die at father yeah, it's died tough. when I really it's needed tough. him? And then it's just like I was living, I was living kind of, I was living, you know, you know, away from the Lord for my teenage years, and just wasn't, absolutely wasn't believing, just an absolute hopelessness and just utter despair, and just absolute, you know. So how did God you know, save you? How did, G- how did Jesus save you? How did Jesus save me? He's and he. I just, um, it was just, I just look came in the, to look a in point. The camera, look in the camera and tell people how Jesus saved you. Talk, talk uh, to him. I just, um, the, like, he just, um, he saved me from, he's, like, when I finally, when I finally realized that he, that he really is, like, the Lord, that he really is, like, the, the Lord. sovereign, the sovereign Lord. God, I, I just, I'll just, like, it's the only, like, it's, he's really the only one who can take away, and take away, like, the, the hope. Hopelessness and gives he can give you hope and he can give give us some um, give us you know a renewed sense of renewed sense of purpose like especially when we're feeling like we were down and we don't feel like we're worth anything why are we even right. here what am I even waking up for it's just you know, as I get reminded of him and his his words and seems to uh, give me the encouragement that I need to keep on going. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thanks. Thank God. <laughs> still, still, I'm still. You know, still, you know, still, you know, struggles. Still on my, you know, still on my journey and trying to, you know, for being perfected every little bit by bit every day. Well, but you're in church. You're in church today. Mm-hmm. So you, you heard the word, and just like I did, and we're getting fed. So mm-hmm. the more we're gonna grow, the more knowledge we have in Christ Jesus. You know, all wisdom and knowledge come from Christ Jesus, and and wisdom is price. I mean, that's that's what we want is wisdom. To know how to be mature and and how to um, for our decision making, you know. I mean, so anyway. So I'm 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 a firm believer that wisdom can help you grow and mm-hmm. help me grow and everybody grow. It's more it's even more precious than rubies and um, gold or silver. Mm-hmm. The Bible says. Yes. I mean, we all want to be rich, right? But we should want to be wiser more than we want to be rich. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can have riches, but you know, if you don't know what to do with it, that's not. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, probably. So that's Amen. Right. Amen, Reuben. Right. All right. Well, um, I love that word about encouragement. And for all those of you who are down for the count, that aren't feeling good, that are down on yourselves, that are in depression, may Jesus Christ lift you up right now and bring you to life. He, he's the giver of life. And so, God, we all need your life. My brothers need it. We all need it. We need that life, Lord. So we ask for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Have a great day, everybody.